Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313, and I'm here with an update for the mods that are on my server. Um, as some of you may know if you're trying to download and install all of them, um, the version of Forestry that was on my server, being 1.4.4.4, uh, is now very difficult to uh, find now that it's updated to 1.4.6.1. Um, so in order to solve this, I figured I would update it on my server. Um, since, you know, the bucket port was all updated and whatnot. And while looking through those, I found that there is, like, three other mods that were updated as well. So, I'm making this video just to show you how to update yours. And then I thought, well, how about I just make a video on how to install everything from scratch. So that is what I'm going to do. Real quick, though, before I start, I'm going to go into here, and here are the ones that I updated. Um, I updated Forestry, so you now have to get for Forestry Client A-1.4.6.1 uh, underscore BC 2.2. Make sure that it's for Buildcraft 2.2 or it will not work because I have Buildcraft 2.2. So that's one update that I have. Um, I will also have an Equivalent Exchange 2 update. Uh, I have not downloaded that. Good thing I just noticed that after I start recording course. Um, I also updated Railcraft to uh, 5.2.4, make sure you have that. And then I also have Red Power uh, 2 uh, pre-release 5 build 2. So make sure you have all those. Um, equivalent Exchange will be, uh, what is it, version 4 point, or 1.4.5.1, I believe it is, just off the top of my head. Um, so make sure you have all those. And if you're already one of them, like if you've already logged into the server, you already have everything ready. All you have to do is delete those out of the mods folder of your .minecraft and put in the new ones, and then you should be fine. Um, so that's that. Now let's go ahead and find out how to install it from scratch, just for any of you that were having problems before. Alright, so now I'm going to show, show you guys how to install all the mods that are used on my server. First, you're going to go into your .minecraft. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you type uh, in your start menu, you go percent app data, spelled right somehow, percent, there we go. This will bring you to your roaming folder in which you can find your .minecraft. So now you're going to go into the bin folder, you're going to right click on your minecraft.jar, and you're going to need a program called WinRAR, or you can use 7-zip for this, but anyways, you're going to open it with WinRAR, or 7-zip, depending on what you have. Could then minimize this, and I'm just going to get my other mods uh, ready. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on this meta inf, you're going to press delete and press enter. Make sure you do this or else it will not work. Sorry, just adjusting my mic. So now you're going to go to wherever you have these two mods downloaded, being Mod Loader for Minecraft version 1.2.5 and Minecraft Forge Client 3.1.3.105. You're going to double click on these. You highlight everything that's in here, and then you click and drag, press OK. You do the same with Minecraft Forge. There we go. So now that we're done with that, we're going to exit out of that. I'm going to minimize this and go into Minecraft. We're going to log in, and this is pretty much just to make sure that we've done everything right and uh, we didn't screw up on the jar installation. Because um, that could cause some problems. If you get this screen, you can quit game. You've done it correctly. I'm going to go back into our .minecraft folder, even though I believe I already had one open. Yeah, I did. And now you'll notice there is a mods folder as well as a config folder. In this mods folder is where you're going to put all the mods that you downloaded for my server. Here are the versions that you're going to need. You're going to need Buildcraft, all different clients, core builders, energy, factory, and transport, version 2.2.14. Make sure you have that. Equivalent Exchange 2, Client 1.4.51. Forestry, Client 1.4.6.1 for Buildcraft 2.2. Make sure you have the version for Buildcraft 2.2 or else it will not work. Um, you're also going to need Industrial Craft 2, Client 1.95B. You're also going to need Railcraft, Client 2, or sorry, Client 5.2.4. And then finally, Red Power uh, 2. Pre-release 5, build 2. Make sure you have all the uh, different ones of this, control, core, lighting, logic, machine wiring, and world. Make sure you have all those, and when you have all of those, you're going to highlight everything, and you're going to right-click and drag, and I just do copy here, that way I have a 
new set right there. So now that this is in your .minecraft folder, um, you would be able to launch this up, but there's just one problem. You would have a few block ID conflict conflicts. So what I was just so nice to do for you guys is over here, if you go to this link, which will be in the description, as will all the other links to the mods that you're going to need for my server, right here you can see modded insanity configs uh, build 3, because this is the third time that I've had to update things. Um, yeah. So now we're just going to download this. I already have it downloaded, so I don't have to. Again, the link will be in the description. And once you have it downloaded, bam, configs. Alright, so now that you have it downloaded, it's going to be a zip file. You can either double click on this, highlight everything, or you can, you know, extract it to its own folder by extract to there. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to open it up just like we installed the uh, mods into the jar. We're going to highlight everything, we're going to click, and we're going to drag. We're going to say yes to replace anything, and there we go. Exit out of everything because we no longer need it. We're going to go into Minecraft and just make sure everything works. It's going to load. And hopefully we have no errors. There we go. If you get the screen, congratulations, you have done it right. Alright, so just to prove to you that you can log into my server with these mods installed, you go to multiplayer, you go to modded insanity, or, well, sorry. <laughs> you can go to add server, and uh, I will have the IP address uh, in the description. Um, but you go there, and as you can see, I joined. And uh, I, I'm also noticing that someone went crazy with the Philosopher's Stone. I'm going to have to yell at them, severely. Um, so, now there's one more thing that uh, was requested of me, and that is to show how to install not enough items. Good question. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, let me stop my server real quick, before anyone else logs on, or tries to log on. You go into your .minecraft, you go into your bin, and you right click on minecraft.jar. You click open with WinRAR archi Archiver. Just like you did, because this is a jar mod that is uh, required. So now you uh, you find Chicken Bones mods right here. You can scroll down, and you're going to need Code Chicken Core uh, 0.5.2. You, you download the uh, latest client. Once you have that, you can click hide. And then you go down to Not Enough Items. Here you'll uh, click on install instructions and downloads, and you'll download the client function. Since my server has Railcraft and Red Power, I suggest getting these two right here so you would just um, click on those and download them, and then I will show you what to do with them right now. So first off in here, you're going to go to wherever you have everything else downloaded, I have them right here, and you're going to go uh, into your code chicken core, you highlight everything, and you click and drag. There you go. Now that when you're done with that, you exit out of there. And now you go into not enough items. Highlight everything, click and drag. Okay. Now you exit out of that and you exit out of that. Now in your dot minecraft folder, that is where you're going to want to put the uh plugins right here, uh red power and railcraft plugin. So you're just going to click and drag into your mods folder. And there you go. Now when you start up, you should have NEI installed. Just to prove to you, I'm going to start up Minecraft and show you that there are no problems. I'll be back when it loads. Alright, so uh, just to prove to you guys that everything works, I went ahead and just created a new world. This is not in my server. Um, but if we open our inventory and we make this a little bit larger, we'll see that we have a whole bunch of red power stuff. This is all the micro blocks. Wow. It's a lot of stuff. Um, we have, you know, Forester, we have everything. Um, now something cool that the, um, oh man, what's it called? That the, uh, the plugins that we made, right here we have Railcraft, and you can see, um, all the different things that we can, uh, do, and we can even filter everything out. So let's say that we only wanted to see the carts. We would, or no, we don't want to see the carts, we would right click on it. And, uh, if we do want to see it, so, you know, that's pretty cool. Same with, re uh, Red Power. You can disable all those uh, micro blocks. 
um, that are right there. So there we go. How cool is that? Um, so uh, this has been Drawing Kit 1313 on how to install the mods that are used for my server. By the way, I did pick a name. I meant to mention this in the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Um, but the name of the server is going to be Modded Insanity. Let me just go ahead and change this before I forget. Um, so this has been Drawing Kit 1313. I hope that this tutorial has uh, helped you. Insanity. There we go. I think that's right. Um, so I hope that this tutorial has helped you in uh, you know installing these mods, and I hope that you join us soon on my server. Until then, I will see you.